Hi folks, today I want to do a first look on the Vision Still Maniac cassette reel. Cassette reels are very popular the last, let's say, 10 years. Um, in the past there were um, cassette reels from uh, the firm Lida, British Fly Reels. They were very nice, but not to say high quality or comparable with a quality fly reel. Let's say about uh, 10 years ago, the firm uh, Hardy of, Onik, of Anik started to, um, to uh, uh, design some, some very good cassette reels like the Demon and later uh, by a new generation of cassette reels. And um, Vision also has designed a cassette reel and jumped on the bandwagon. And that is the Custom Still Maniac. A very interesting reel. In the Netherlands it retails for around 290 euros. And first of all, the looks of this fly reel are, in my opinion, very cool. It's very nicely designed with some, some very interesting um, machined holes in, in the frame. Looks very nice, looks very modern, um, looks very high tech. Um, it has to be your taste, but um, I must say I um, I absolutely uh, love this uh, love this design. And um, there's lots of porting in this reel, so uh, the weight is um, is not very high. Um, what I also like uh, about this reel um, is um, the very large arbor of this reel, so it it takes up line very very fast. And that's an advantage if you are if you are fishing uh, a reservoir match or uh, fishing on um, let's say uh, uh, sea trout or uh, very fast running fish. It's always very nice to have a good control uh, of, of of your uh, of your line. Um, the most important thing, of course, is uh, the cassette system, and we will take a closer look at that uh, later in this uh, in this video. Um, First, let's have a look on, on the specs. Well, this reel is designed to take uh, a 7 or an 8 weight line, but I would recommend this reel also for a 6, a 7 or an 8 weight line. And that's very nice, it's no uh, no problem at all. It takes lo quite a lot of backing, so it's, it's very nice for sea trout fishing, uh, reservoir fishing, maybe some lighter pike fishing. That's very, uh, very nice. Um, if you look at the design of the reel, um, it, it has some, some very cool contrasting colors. Um, the handle grip is made of a, quite a high density foam. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. I, I rather prefer, the texture is, is very nice. It plays good in the hand, but it, it, it doesn't look very durable, but okay. Um, Maybe the, the, the test of time uh, will tell different. But the texture is, is very nice and it, it handles very, uh, very very nice. It feels feels good, but I rather prefer an, an, uh, an aluminium machined uh, grip or um, maybe uh, something made from uh, Delrin or another uh, kind of plastic. Um, what I also like about this reel is the drag system. It has quite a large drag knob and the drag knob is really made from machined aluminium. So that's a good thing. It looks very sturdy and it has a wide range of settings and it delivers enough drag for trout, some bigger pike, maybe sea bass or something. It runs very smooth and the drag is also very smooth. I, I love the purring sound. Sounds very good. And I'll adjust the drag a bit. It sounds like that. So the, the drag is very smooth and, and progressive. It's not a sealed drag or I don't know what kind of material is used for, for the drag, but we'll take a look. Another thing I think uh, could be designed better is the, the knob to to change the spool. That's here. 
it's no problem at all. It's it's uh, sturdy enough, but you have to quite a lot of pressure to to take it off, and it marks your fingers. It's not not the best design, I I think, but okay, can be different. Let's take a look on uh, on the inside. Very standard uh, one clutch bearing. You can also change it, possibly by taking it off and turning it on. Looks very cool. The frame very nicely machined no sharp edges it's very well designed and I thought it's made in Korea maybe in the same factory as most hardy reels I've done I'm not sure of that but looks very uh, very good and very well executed but the most important thing why do you buy a cassette reel of course to take a lot of lines with you, not to buy a lot of reels, but it's a cheap way to um, to take a lot of lines with you and uh, uh, not to buy a lot of spare aluminium spools. So these spare spools cost 17, 18 euros for two pieces. That's not much. But the most important thing with cassette reels is the changing of the cassette very simple on this reel does it very simple you just turn take it off and then it's very easy to put it back on but here here is also a kind of design flaw that is it's not marked to put the spool back on so if I was the owner of this reel, I am the owner, I will mark it with um, with a marker where to put it back on. Well, let's take a moment. Well, this kind of little, little design flaw here, but here is are some little plastic blocks. This piece here is open so that must be exactly the same with the handle knob and then you turn the dial back a little and it's back on so very fast very easy and it's a very sturdy system so one dial you can take it off you take it back And it's back on. And Bob is your uncle. So it's very easy to change your uh, your spools. And here, it's back on. You click it back on. Well, the reel is delivered in a big box. And there's a very cool neoprene pouch with it. Looks very cool with still maniac on it and it's standardly delivered with two spare spools it's a little bit small i'd rather see it a little bit bigger but um above all it's a great package well that almost wraps it up well the pros of this reel are the design of the housing it looks very cool it looks very good Spools are very cheap, it's very easy to uh, to change them, it's a very simple system. They could design it uh, with a marked, um, with a marked uh, spot, but no problem, you can use a marker and write the line size on it and, uh, and everything. Um, yeah, another thing for me is this, the handle knob looks cool. Will it hold on in the future? I'm not totally sure. But the drag, outstanding, perfect, good sound, sturdy build quality, good machining. That wraps it up for now. So, do I like this reel? Yeah. I think this is a great piece of equipment. Very cool design. 
nothing wrong with it. Is it one of the best cassette reels on the market? I think so. Uh, if you compare it to uh, to the Hardy reels, price technical, uh, it's much cheaper. You can change the spools just as fast. And uh, I think an advantage um, uh, um, on the Hardy, let's say the ASR uh, fly reel, is there are not a lot of mechanical parts in the spool changing system. So. In my, uh, in my humble opinion, I think it's a winner, and not only for uh, uh, match fishermen and tournament fly fishermen, but also for the regular fly fisher who looks for uh, a predator fly reel or uh, a reel using for a fishery uh, where you uh, use quite a lot of lines. So um, I'm very happy with it, and that wraps it up for now. Thanks for watching, and... Uh, Tight lines.